I am Dr. Raj Shekharan, Chairman and Head of the Department of Orthopedics and Spine Surgery in Ganga Hospital, Coimbatore. So I would like to discuss with you today on safety in spine surgery. Now we are one of the largest spine surgery units in the country and even in South Asia and perform more than 3000 spine surgeries every year. But whenever we have mentioned to any patient that he requires a spine surgery, we always find that there is a look of anxiety and worry, not only on his face, but also on all his relatives. Now this is quite understandable because spine surgery itself has developed very well only in the last two decades. And also people are worried about spine because spine has got a lot of importance both by its position and also function. Now we know that spine is a deeply placed organ and has got the spinal cord running within it which connects the brain to the rest of the body. We also know that very close to the spine are the most important blood vessels which are carrying the blood to the rest of the body. Now apart from this spine surgery has progressed a lot and modern spine surgery involves the use of a lot of titanium screws and hooks which are placed on the bone and these are naturally very close to the spinal cord, important nerves and also to the blood vessels. So there is an anxiety, a natural and understandable anxiety for the patient when he has to require a major spine surgery. Now I would take you through the various factors which have made spine surgery very safe. First of all is the use of microscopes in spine surgery. Microscopes give good illumination and magnification which makes surgery very safe. The second is the use of modern technology, intraoperative CT guided navigation technique which makes placement of the screws very very accurate by making the surgeon look beyond the human eye. The third is the use of continuous intraoperative spinal cord monitoring which looks at the function and integrity of the spinal cord during all the maneuvers of surgery and stages of surgery on a real time basis so that the chances of injury to the spinal cord is really made very very less. The fourth is the use of cell savers which actually saves the blood that oozes during the time of surgery and recycles them to the patient so that the need for multiple transfusion for these patients are very very less. But even before you come to the actual surgery there are two major advances which have made surgery very safe. One is advanced radiology. Modern radiology equipments like CT scans and 3T Tesla with all their modern sequences allow us to diagnose the diseases much earlier. It helps us to stage the disease and also plan the surgery very accurately so that the surgery becomes very safe. And then when the patient comes for surgery, there have been so many important advances in the field of anesthesia that surgery is extremely safe nowadays. Now let us start with the use of microscopes in spine surgery. As we told earlier, the spine is a deeply placed organ and especially when the incisions are getting smaller and smaller for minimally invasive spine surgery, the illumination from the traditional operating theater lights may not be sufficient. Now microscopes give you two important things, coaxial bright illumination and secondly the required magnification which makes the surgeon and also his assistant to see perfectly and very clearly the operating field. We always do better when we see better and because spine surgery often involves dissection around the spinal cord, sometimes even in the spinal cord, 
Such illumination and magnification gives the extra edge for the surgeon to make the surgery very safe. Moreover, microscopes have also made it possible to achieve the same degree of efficiency with smaller incisions. Nowadays, it is used in a variety of spine surgeries, whether it is the minimally invasive surgery or it is the disc surgery or it is in excising the tumors. Microscopes have made surgery very safe. I talked to you about uh, intraoperative CT guided computer navigation surgery. Now this is a very important improvement in technology and it almost employs the same principle which guides pilots to land very safely on the runway even when their vision is very poor. The same principle helps the surgeon during spine surgery because when you operate the surgeon actually has a good vision of only the posterior part of the spine and by his experience and knowledge of anatomy he has to determine what is the starting point of the screw what is the safe trajectory and what is the size and length of the screw computer navigated surgery takes the image in three dimensional format and feeds it to a very sophisticated navigation platform and this allows the surgeon to see beyond the human eye so although he is looking only at the surface of the bone but by placing a mirror he is able to immediately get a three dimensional picture of the whole spine the exact location of the bone its relationship to the spinal cord and the important blood vessels and is also able to design and draw a trajectory through which he can drill the bone and safely place the screws. Now this modern technology has allowed the surgeon to place the screws within one millimeter accuracy inside the bone thereby making implanted and instrumented spine surgery very very safe. Now because of this technology, it is now possible to work very comfortably and very safely even in patients with congenital deformities where there is an alteration of the bony structure by birth or where there is an alteration of normal anatomy because of major trauma or deformity or because of tumors or infection and this allows us to place the screw in a much better position. Placing the screw in a very strong position also helps us to get a good leverage whereby we are now able to get much better corrections when we do spinal deformity surgery. So we were one of the first hospitals in the whole of Asia to adopt computer navigation surgery and we adopted this technology as early as in 2002 and now perform one of the highest number of computer navigated surgeries in the whole world. The second important technology or improvement is continuous intraoperative monitoring of the spinal cord. Now this is a very big boon to the patient for safety and also a very big boon to the surgeon for his comfort and ability to perform safe surgeries. Basically we know that the spinal cord connects the brain to all the peripheral nerves. We call it as the highway of the neuron, neural structure. Now the spinal cord is supplied by very thin and fragile blood vessels. And either if there is a drop in blood pressure or if during your placement of the implants or during any of the corrective maneuvers. If there is an excessive stretch or compression on the spinal cord or for any reason if there is a decrease in the blood supply, this is immediately indicated to the surgeon on a real time basis as it is every second to second so that the surgeon becomes aware of what is happening and is able to take a remedial measure immediately thereby avoiding any injury to the spinal cord. For this there are sophisticated instruments 
and we place small implants on the scalp and also on the periphery and continuous stimulation can be performed whereby both the motor nerves that means the nerves which come from the brain to the muscles which give power to the muscles and also we can stimulate peripherally so that the sensory nerves which are carrying sensations from the periphery to the brain both of these are actually checked on a real time basis now the power to have the intraoperative spinal cord monitoring has made surgery very safe and it also allows us to safely and comfortably and confidently do corrective surgeries so that nowadays we are able to correct all the deformities much better more accurately and safely than what we were able to do before the third important uh, technology is what we call as cell savers now as i mentioned before because the spine is a deeply placed organ covered by lot of muscles and also because of the fact that some of these surgeries require osteotomy there is a certain amount of blood loss involved and previously this had to be corrected by multiple blood transfusions now cell savers actually take the blood as it is oozing they purify it and it is possible that we now transfuse the same blood patient's own blood back to him so that the loss is rectified and corrected the volume is made good by the patient's own blood now this is a very big boon because most of the blood loss can be rectified in this manner and the number of transfusions that the patient requires drastically falls down which makes again the post operative period very comfortable and very safe for the patient now all this is augmented as i said before by good planning of the surgery which is made possible by accurate diagnosis by the advances that we have in radiology we have fantastic and very advanced mri machines which are very safe which can be done repeatedly without any fear of increasing radiation to the patient and also very advanced ct scans where they have a facility to get very accurate bony details with very minimum uh, radiation there are very special protocols now possible in our machines where you can acquire the ct scan for the radiation that you get in just the uh, equivalent of a few chest x rays and this is really fantastic because this completely obviates the hazards of radiation and so you can perform and have ct scans even for young children now this accurate diagnosis allows us to plan our surgeries very safely and added to this is as i mentioned before safe anesthesia this has now allowed us to operate on either ends of the spectrum of the population very young children and the very elderly both have special requirements of anesthesia and the modern technology of good anesthetic equipments availability of very safe anesthetic drugs and the technology and improvement in anesthetic techniques by itself has made surgery very safe and so if you need a surgery if any of your family members require surgery any of your dear or near ones require a spine surgery don't be alarmed modern spine surgery is quite safe there is a whole lot of technology behind spine surgery now and i am happy to say that at ganga hospital every one of these is available and we are always the first to adopt technology when it augments safety wish you all good luck thank you